Hello everybody, it's Ronnie here from Mantic Games and my beautiful assistant, Matt from the studio, hello. So, me and Matt are responsible for kind of taking insane ideas and actually putting them on the release schedule and making them happen. Uh, I contribute about 5% of that, to the insane idea, and yours is um, turning it from that into something that actually happens. So just talk people through roughly how long it takes from, from us chatting to making a game. It can be anything from uh, a year up to two years, depending on the size of the project and, and how crazy the idea is. <laughs> um, and you know, and during that process, obviously, we go through all sorts of all sorts of iterations of models, test scales, rules, drafts, uh, everything else. You know, try and build a commercial product all the way till it gets green light. We like this, and then develop it through to the end. <laughs> you know, and I think it's fair to say those beautiful, simple games that we make are anything but <laughs> beautiful, simple in the process. All of what we're trying to do is, is, is that end thing is is gorgeous. We were chatting a year ago to a year ago now, looking at thinking something coming out in the next six or eight months. And what what did we decide was the genius thing that we all do? I think we sat there and thought, you know what? What we want is something absolutely epic. Ba boom! <laughs> So there, there we are. We've decided it's epic. Off you go. What, what, what were the aims? What was our? When, when we decided, yeah, let's do this. Where do we want to take it? We wanted a, a homage to the games we remember playing when we, you know, when we were when we were growing up. Those those big scale sci fi sci fi games. Um, you know, we've done that with sports games. Dreadball, we've done it with uh, naval, naval fantasy games, so Armada, which will be hugely popular. And we've, we've taken them but put our own spin on it. Absolutely, you know, Armada, yeah. beautiful big ships, Dreadball, fast, best board game I think we've ever made. Still gorgeous. We wanted to do the same thing. Take what we loved and make it entirely ours. And then you went away and did it. Yep, so we uh, started with the, the rule set. Imagine, obviously, as I said, lots of iterations of that. Um, you and I have played, we've, we've played here, and we've brought Alessio in. Uh, yeah. So Alessio Cavatori, who obviously wrote Kings of War. And Warhammer and 40k and all those things are a very seasoned pro to take what you'd got and make it more polished, more balanced. Yeah, and we've played those games between us, bouncing ideas off each other and just developing those rules. And what was the core DNA by the time you finished this? Uh, so it's the homage to the, the visual games with Mantis DNA. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got turning over order counters. It is secret revealed. Um, um, but with Mantix DNA on top, so, you know, our current breed of uh, batch of games. So you've got your D8s, you've got your command dice, your faction orders, those things that we've learned from our other game systems layered into So into beauty, that. Both beautiful, clean. Absolutely. Gone back really clean, clean, clean. And then on top of that, we've layered some finesse. Yes. It just gives it some flame. So we've got some skulls. We've got a yeah. beautiful rule set. I'm good to go. <laughs> Breaks go on. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then, we started hearing some rumours. Um, and then those rumours became true. We saw some pictures uh, and everything else um, of another epic game that was uh, just over the horizon. Right. Okay. So someone else just down the road, some small little piddling company, uh, decided they were going to get have the same thoughts as us and we're going to do an epic game. Um, what did that mean? I mean, for us as a company, if we start going into plastics, which is, I think, what we were thinking, we can't yeah. afford that kind of investment unless we've got a success. Absolutely. I mean, we, we were looking at um, Plague versus uh, Enforcers at the start set, followed by uh, Asterians and Forge Fathers, all in plastic. Right. Uh, and that's a big investment for us. Yeah. And so we just kind of slammed the anchors on, wait to see if these true rumours were true and when they were true. They are true. It's now coming out. And... Um, and I think that's why we are now assessing the plan mm -hmm. and deciding how can we take this thing that we love and we think is gorgeous and take it on to the next place. Yeah, absolutely. So I think that's where we want Mantic fans to come in or, or even not Mantic fans, but Epic fans, people that want to see this game. Absolutely. Yeah, we need, we need a steer on, on what to do next. So we've got a rule set. We are going to put it up. It's not it's a manuscript. It's not a laid out book. So all that's you know time and effort and money and taking the, the models out to that is the same. And um, we're going to put that up for you to have a read, yep. see what you think. Uh, we think it's beautiful. We want to know what you think. Is this something that we should carry on investing in and bring out? And um, we're going to have a, a survey. We've got a, a blog. Matt's written a blog. Goes into a little bit more detail about the whole process and where we are and what we've got. So if you want to dive into that, go have a read. Yep, absolutely. And then we're going to have a survey 
I think there's going to be a proper like grown up survey that we're going to put up. Yeah, we we, we want to know as you as Mantic or as Epic fans or both. Uh, where do you want us to take this? What should we do next? And there's a number of options. You know, we could put it out as plastic. We could put it out as STLs. There's also this uh, CEO cast that lives in the middle. Um, so please let us have your feedback. If you want us to bring this to market, we'd love to, but we're just going to need uh, kind of some, some support and some validation that we're not completely insane. We are in love with it, but sometimes, you know, you have to, um, you have to stop and, and, and let the dust clear. So, if, if there's an interest out there, whether you're a current Epic uh, Mantic gamer or just a, a, an Epic gamer that wants to see, you know, Forge Fathers and Enforcers in space and, you know, down the line, Marauders and others, please let us know. Come along and um, feedback. And we will we will take a step from what you tell us. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>